There is a study done that it costs two hundred and thirty five thousand dollars in order to raise a kid. And that doesn't include like school or college or anything like that. Just normal every day it costs two hundred and thirty five thousand dollars. Now I'm cheap, so it's gonna cost my kids or it's gonna cost me about ninety thousand. <laughs> I kid, but I'm going to tell you how to start saving for your kids' education now. Whereas they're young, if they're young, if not, just start now. you got to start someplace. Welcome back to Investing for Parents. Now, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. If not, comment, like after the video you go through, you want to tell me something, you want to ask me something, let me know. But right now, this is Investing for Parents, so we're going to give investing advice. Not so much investing in stocks, houses, but investing in your actual kids. We have them. We got to invest in them. So one of the most expensive expense you will ever have as a parent is college, is schooling, is everything associated with it. Now, I am a huge believer in you learn from life and you can self-taught and college isn't necessarily necessary, but I still see the benefits of it. But if you are for it, you're going to pay out of it unless your kid gets a scholarship, etc. I went to college, so I'm assuming my kids are going to want to go to college. They can go to a two-year school for all I care because I think that would be great for them. Or four years. Or if they're specializing, by all means. But we have to be able to save that money. Financial aid and or straight out of pocket. you got to be able to have that money. It's not just paying for classes. It's paying for the books. It's paying for boarding. It's paying for a new laptop. It's paying for whatever it might be. So today we're going to talk about the Coverdell ESA, Educational Savings Account. And what it is, is you're saving for your kid's future, but you're only saving for school. This isn't a savings account where you can use the money for something else. This is purely for school. And all it is, is you open a savings account and you're limited to $2,000 per year, whether it be from you, whether it be from their grandparents, whether it be from whomever, the limit is $2,000. And each year, that money, the interest that grows on that money, it becomes theirs to use as they wish. So if you started at uh, $2,000 and invested it and at 8% growth, you're at $80,000, $90,000 between there. I don't know the exact, exact math, but by the time they're 18, that's the number you are. So you can see how it's benefit. Now, it's good for K through 12 and college. But if you're putting $2,000 down and then you're trying to use it for kindergarten, you might as well have kept the money. I don't see the point. You're not going to accrue enough interest to use it for regular stuff, uh, regular everyday schools. Now, it's limited to $2,000, so that's where the hiccup comes in. College costs way more than that, but you're not trying to pay for college. What you're trying to do is hopefully your kid's smart enough to get a scholarship, a partial scholarship, financial aid to help cover some of it. You're trying to pay for the extras, the books that cost $300 for one class that they may never use or open. But you're trying to pay for those extras, the board, room and board, um, books, laptops, trips, whatever it is you can say, listen, this is going to be for this and show receipts, how it's associated with school, with college. You can use it for that. Now, the beauty of it is, you, since you're putting it in after taxes from your own account, there is no taxes on it when you're taking it out to pay for school things and it, school supplies or whatever it is. So when that money is growing, that money is just yours. That is a beautiful thing. And you don't have to put $2,000 down. You put whatever it is. But imagine you put $300, $500 per year. And then when it's time for them to go to school, boom, you have... $20,000 saved up. It's a good feeling. It may not be enough, but it's still a good feeling. You can start from the time they're born and just go with it. The beauty, beautiful thing about it is, let's say you have one kid and you start with the ESA savings up, saving up, and then they decided they want to backpack, up, uh, backpack around Europe and that money is just there. And you're like, well, if I take it out, they're going to tax it at about 10%. Uh, you're going to face a 10% penalty and then whatever the normal tax rate is. So you're basically at 
going to be like half the money. So why take it out? If you have a second kid that's growing, you can then transfer the policy to them and then they can apply it to college. So it's transferable among family, amongst family members, or you can save it for that, their cousin, whatever it is, or if the cousin's going to has the money to pay for college and you want to cash, you want to get that money, but you don't want to suffer the penalty for half price your, your money, you can transfer it to them and then they can pay you. There are many ways you can go about this and you can contribute up until they're 18. After that, it becomes theirs to contribute and they got to use it by the time they're 30. Otherwise, it penalties incur, but it's meant for college. It's great for college. If it's a way for you to save, you can passively transfer that money every month whether it be a hundred bucks whatever it is you can do it forget about it and then when college time comes you're not as panicked because at least you could pay for the first year maybe and things are a little bit wonky you know but i think this is great for parents to start i mean a five five two nine is a great two but i'm going to explain that in a different videos i kind of i have mixed feelings about those so um, as you can hear, my kids are crying downstairs because I'm not saving enough for their college. <laughs> but I think your ESA would be perfect for some people because it's a way to save and it's specific for college, for school, and it gives you a better feeling as a parent. If you have any comments, if you like the video, if you're going to want more information, just let me know in the comments because I know a lot. I've started three of them now. I have three kids. <laughs> But I, I don't want these videos to be a bog down. You can go through the finute things yourself and see if it's right for you. I just want to bring it out there so you know about it because I had to go searching for it myself. And when I found it, I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. I wish somebody had told me, blah, blah, blah. But now I'm telling you that way you can see if it works for you. Not so, this is not so cool, parents. Yeah, that, another channel. Investing for parents. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.